plopped right on, and all my problems went away, your mileage may vary, I have a Mercruiser 260 on an older 87 feet Siri with a car that had succumbed to ethanol corrosion and would not run properly anymore, having rebuilt several times and it not ever really running great, I decided to upgrade to a more user friendly Adelbrock, I needed a spread to square bore adapter, Adelbrock fuel line, and a different bracket for the throttle cable to mount to but other than that there was no issue, I also bent and flared my own fuel line, once the fuel bowl was primed I bump the key over and she runs great right out of the box, perfect direct replacement on my 5.7 Mercruiser, zero adjustments need runs perfectly, insanely great replaced Mercruiser 2 BBL on 4.3 litre V6 installed with a Delbrook marine intake manifold engine has never run this well or this quiet, Tried one on my 1976 Gibson houseboat, bolted right onto the 318, took it out on the lake and the damn boat wanted to get on plane, bought a second carb for the port engine, I think I could pull 3 skiers behind me, this boat has never ran this good and I've owned it for 6 years, I had the Carter carbs rebuilt twice, don't waste your time, they won't say in tune, Edelbrook told me to buy breather filter for the valve covers. A little crankcase exhaust comes out so I run my bilge fan and it takes care of it. I usually run the fan anyway. Unless you use your boat in colder weather you won't need the electric choke. It was 51 degrees when I started both engines from a cold start. Hope this helps someone.